Now, today's top stories in Power of 5 weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Good evening. Now, here's a look at today's top stories. More than 6,500 new coronavirus cases were reported in Ohio today. That's another new record. It's nearly a thousand more than the record we hit just three days ago. And it's not simply because more people are being tested. Our seven day average positivity rate now sits at 9.6%. Record number of people hospitalized with COVID-19 in the last day as well, 386. More than 2,700 people are being treated for coronavirus right now in Ohio hospitals. The surge in coronavirus cases has put so many students and staff in quarantine that some schools are now going back to remote learning. Painesville City Schools have seen a spike in cases over the last two weeks. They decided to send students at Harvey High School and Heritage Middle School home to learn for the rest of the month. The superintendent says Halloween parties may be one reason for the spread. I don't know that we can point to that directly with evidence, but certainly we anticipate that that's a factor in what we're seeing, at least across the region, if not specifically in the district. While Twinsburg schools haven't made any changes in their district, they did send a letter to parents about the number of new cases, pointing out a house party on Halloween where they say students were not taking safety precautions. Two Ohio lawmakers are looking to crack down on rioters after protests this spring and summer turned violent. New law and order legislation announced today creates new charges for those involved in a riot who hurt someone else. And that charge will increase if the assault is against a police officer. The bill also increases penalties for vandalizing property and blocking roadways during riots. The lawmakers behind the proposal say it protects people's rights to peacefully protest while also protecting police officers, business owners, and law-abiding Ohioans. Amazon's Fulfillment Center in Akron is officially open for business. The 640,000 square foot facility is located on the site of the former Rolling Acres Mall. Several positions are still available at the warehouse. Pay starts at $15 an hour. Full-time employees are eligible for 401k and insurance benefits, as well as paid parental leave. Mark Johnson, it sure was nice while it lasted. It sure was. We get rain overnight with a strong cold front, 58 for the low, and then you notice tomorrow the temps don't go up. No, they go down. You'll be in the 40s, many of you, by, uh, I would say, 5, 6, 7 p.m. tomorrow evening. Early showers, temps falling. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.